Good afternoon. It's Jack, Australian nursing student slash Australian nurse. So I'm going on placement tomorrow. I have a four week block of an acute placement for my undergrad degree, for my registered nurse training. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd maybe do a video of it. Um, <clears throat> I'm just getting over a cold, so please excuse my voice. Um, yeah. For those who don't know me, my name is Jack. I'm an enrolled nurse who works in Queensland, Australia, and who is studying to be a registered nurse. So yeah, this is my journey. I sometimes make videos, I'm very slack. Um, so I'm only doing two subjects this semester. One is a theory, a mental health subject, and one is a placement, which I start tomorrow. So um, I am just trying to get my placement documents sorted um, for tomorrow. Tomorrow's an orientation starting at 8 a.m. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that and... Morning everybody, it is 7.10. And I'm ready, showered and ready, and I'm about to go and grab a coffee and head in. It's a little bit stuffy. Let's do it. Hello nursing students. I just had my first day of placement. It was an orientation day, so it was fine. Yay. And then we went to the ward, listened to handover. Boring. Morning everybody, day two placement, 9th of August today. I need some coffee. Very tired, didn't sleep very well. I'm on day shifts and that just means I don't sleep well. Um, we've got a day off tomorrow because it's a public holiday, uh, which is nice. So I can hopefully catch up on some sleep tomorrow. And then two more day shifts, Thursday, Friday, then the weekend off. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go and get a coffee. I think my partner was going to try and drive me this morning, but he's asleep, so I'm just going to steal the car. Good morning, everybody. It's 5.40, and I'm just having a coffee, getting ready to go to work. Hello, nursing students. It's week two of placement. Um, it's been a kind of subacute medical placement, so nothing too exciting. I'm doing lates this week, thank gosh, so I didn't have to wake up very early this morning. So I'm doing 2.30 to 11, um, yeah. Ooh. Hey nursing students, let's have an update, shall we? Um, what day is it? 16th of August. I'm on lates this week, this is my second week of my acute placement. Yeah, so I had a chronic placement. This is my acute placement. Um, it's kind of sub-acute. Um, uh, anyway, that's it. So, still doing this degree, chugging along very slowly. If you don't know me, I work as an enrolled nurse here in Queensland, Australia. And I'm studying to be a registered nurse. Of course, let's do it. Let's get this degree done to be a registered nurse. I should be finished by this time next year, hopefully. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do university very part-time. I work 0.7 shifts a fortnight um, and do uni, so it's fine. And personal life, so I like to have a, a nice balance of all of that. And if I do any more uni or any more work or whatever, I think I'd stress myself out. So it works just right for me. I've been an enrolled nurse for three years and I've got a, a bit of experience, pretty medical, surgical, uh, relatively sick patients I've looked after before, um, done a fair few interesting skills, currently working in a COVID ward. Um, so yeah, I just want to keep learning. Upskill, I want to be a registered nurse, and then the world is mine. So yeah, um, 
placement. This placement's fine. Subacute, med surge, rehab, ward work. So stuff I've done before, nothing is too crazy. They do do ketamine infusions on this ward, subcutaneous ketamine infusions uh, for pain management. Um, I've done patient controlled analgesia with ketamine, so intravenous, but this is uh, um, like a pain management subcutaneous administration of ketamine in a Nikki pump. Um, so for pain management and things. So that's very interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, you can always learn things, doesn't matter what you've done. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like a fish out of water. I seem to be helpful to the registered nurses that I'm buddied with. That's the whole goal. And then obviously if there's any gaps in my learning, I'll take the opportunity um, to learn. So yeah, um, getting a coffee. It's 13.54, I start at 2.30. Um, yeah, I just had a vegetarian pie. It was lovely. And I'm just parked out with the air conditioning on. It's 22 degrees here, perfect weather. So yeah. Hello nursing students, it is Jack. It is Wednesday morning. It's payday for me, thank gosh, from my enrolled nurse job. I think I've taken half pay. So f two weeks worth of pay instead of four weeks worth of annual leave. Because I just can't live without four weeks worth of pay, which is a bit scary. Anywho. So three more days left of placement for this acute placement, which is fantastic. And I've just been allocated a mental health placement, uh, which is in our third semester, which runs from November to February, but they've actually given it to me in this, the end of October. So I just sent an, <clears throat> an email to my boss asking if I can have that date off. And it's, and it's very close together, like it's September. And then it's next month where usually I try and spread them out a little bit because who can afford to be on placement like that all the time. And another three weeks off from my work, like it's just, it doesn't seem very fair. So I sent her an email, she's forwarded it to the roster people and they put it in the system. So I'm just feeling very, very grateful to my employer at this point. Um, <clears throat> and that will be three placements done this year, which is fantastic and that means I only have two to do next year um, so I'm I'm looking forward to that and hopefully this degree will be done by this time next year I'm not very good at vlogging obviously <laughs> I'm terrible it's definitely the last plot like priority that I have um, but I'm gonna go through some comments on my last video and answer some comments um, just try and be interactive with the lovely people that come in on my videos. So that's very nice of y'all. Um, Wednesday, today, 31st of August, I finish placement this Friday for my acute placement. So that'll be done. So I probably won't do any more updates because it's not very exciting. I do get my, actually, I do get my final assessment tomorrow. So I will record a video and let you guys know how I go on my final ANSAT. If you don't know what an ANSAT is and you're a nursing student, you should probably Google it, have a little look into it. It's the scoring system, how you get graded. Um, so my first one was good. I got great feedback. Um, so let's see if it improves in this next one or whether I've done worse in the last two weeks of my placement. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna have a look at some of these comments. So um, Matthew says he's an EN student in New South Wales, planning to do RN. He likes the video, which is great. I definitely appreciate being an EN and being an RN student. It is fantastic. The only downside is time and more money. Although it really helps consolidate learning. I get to take time through years of working as an EN and doing the bachelor's degree. And saying that, varying opinions, I know there's a different level, different scope, different education level. Um, my TAFE experience was really fantastic. And I learned a lot and I came out come out of TAFE feeling very prepared. I did a two year diploma and skills wise between university and TAFE, there really isn't much difference. We were taught by CNs and RNs and RNs had worked in ICU and emergency. So we were taught by RNs. Um, 
the only difference we were taught is about our scope of practice and our limitations and what we need to do in unsupervised, supervised practice and all of that stuff. But skills wise, we were very well prepared. So our dexterity, drawing things up, checking the injectables drug book was all there. We're already, already in that. And that's in the new diploma anyway. I'm just talking about myself. So there's nothing that I haven't seen in the degree that I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. I don't, you know, I'm not familiar with that. So I definitely recommend it doing ENs and then RNs, but that's just my own experience. I needed to get into the workplace as fast as I could, um, changing career wise, I mean. So this worked very well for me. I was able to move home for two years, study the diploma, start working as an enrolled nurse. And now I'm living out of home again, obviously with my partner in Brisbane and doing the degree very slowly. Um, I'm with the university that I'm with because I can do it online, um, which does make it hard because you have to be self-motivating. Um, that's why I don't do very many subjects at a time because I will burn myself out um, and drop out and I don't want to do that. So I'm like, if it takes me a little bit longer to get through it, that is perfect while I work um, and it seems to be working so far. I haven't needed to spend hours and hours and hours and hours studying content to pass the subject. I will say that from workplace experience and TAFE, I've got a very great foundation knowledge and do some tutorials and some content reading just to help fill in gaps in knowledge level. And from diploma to bachelor, they do go on a little bit of, uh, further depth, but a lot of that information um, I know where to find. I've learnt in workplace things. I've seen some very clinical things. I've done some very clinical things um, and learning from clinical nurses in my job. Obviously, best practice, local workplace policies and procedures, different. Um, so I think I'm addicted to being a student forever. No. <laughs> anyway, um, so someone's asking for another update. They're starting nursing school this semester. Yeah, the enrolled nursing diploma for myself was not easy. It takes a lot of time. It was two years full time. You're doing lots of academic writing and that thing. People say it's not academic writing, but it actually is. You need to reference, you need to cite sources, you need to formulate academic sentences and critically think and all of those things. So it's not far off. It does set a good thing for university. University is different in the way that they were like, here's a 1600 word essay, and then you have an exam at the end of the semester, and you have to do this random template. Whereas TAFE for me, my diploma that I did was like, here's an assignment, you do short answer academic writing for every assignment, and then you do your clinical week, um, and then go on placement. So, but it was fantastic. I really enjoyed the diploma. One day a week at TAFE, um, made some amazing friends, um, which really kind of reinforced and helped um, keep me motivated by going to TAFE one day a week. Um, someone asked if there's plenty of nursing jobs in Brisbane. There is plenty of nursing jobs to go around, especially for enrolled nurses. As our scope widens, as we become more competent and confident skills wise, um, there's a lot of places to use enrolled nurses a lot more. Um, in my ward, my clinical skills level I've never seen an RN do some of these things before, which some people might like, some people, you know, m might not like it. I enjoy it because I want to be a registered nurse. So if I can perfect these skills within my scope and my facility, then I'm going to be, when I'm a registered nurse, I'll be very well versed in, in different things. So it works very well for me. Who's it from? The Prepared Nurse Co, which is fantastic. It's a little EN badge. So it has um, pH levels, which is great. GCS, what it means, the pupil sizes on the side, vital sign, vital sign ranges, lung sounds, heart sounds, which I don't do too much of, um, but it's always a great skill to practice. I've got a skin tear management guide, which is fantastic. What else have I got? Some old tags. Old employee tags where I've worked. <laughs> um, I've also got a student nurse version of this, which is nice. 
it's the same content, but just says nursing student. And it doesn't really work for my badges, unfortunately. Can nursing students study and do other jobs to pay for union daily expenses at the same time? That's what I'm doing. Um, I work as an enrolled nurse, seven shifts a fortnight, and study part-time. Someone asked how much an EN can earn per hour in Australia. I'm EN level three in Queensland, and I get paid $33 an hour at this point. Um, so that if you're doing it for the pay, then maybe not recommended, but I'm wanting to learn and grow my experience. Be an RN, my pay will go up. I would like to be a facilitator one day. So let's see how that goes. Um, somebody asked if there was an EN to RN conversion course. I did not do that. All I did was a two year diploma and then I got one year's worth of credit from my university. So I started university in second year for the bachelor's degree. So if I did it full time, I'd be able to finish it in two years. So in total, four years worth of study for ENs and RNs. Um, but I'm doing university very part time and that works for me. So in Queensland, in my current employment, enrolled nurses go up five pay grades and I'm on pay grade three. So in my own mind, I justify it by thinking, as long as I finish the degree before my pay stops climbing, um, then I'll feel like I've done the right thing. So someone's asking if they're interested in doing their diploma of nursing and they find it hard sometimes to do activities when the attention is on you. In the workplace, you're fine, but you get really red in the face when you have to do an activity and the class is watching me. Depends where you study. Um, you do have residential schools or clinical skills weeks where you will need to perform. It's like acting. So you've learnt the skill, you need to perform it in front of your teacher to show that you can do it competently, like taking a manual blood pressure, doing a full set of vital signs, doing a wound dressing, it's usually on a dummy. Um, but you need to show them that you can do that. And it is terrifying. I used to shake and the teacher would say, take a breath. I can see that you're shaking, you're nervous. Um, even in university, an RN student, they make you do it as well. And I'm a little bit better because I've been an enrolled nurse and my dexterity is there, I can do things. But when you're being assessed, it's still very nerve wracking. I get shaky, I get nervous because it's a different environment. Yeah, it's just how you manage your anxiety, I guess. I started nursing, I became an enrolled nurse in 2019, so I started in 2017. Is there any way to work in a hospital to make a living? So whilst I was studying my diploma, I worked as an AIN after the first year of my diploma. So I worked as an AIN in a country hospital, which was fantastic. It's a lot of specialing, like dementia specialing um, and confused patient specialing out in the country anyway. Um, but I got my um, activities of daily living skills there and talking to patients and working with dementia patients and showering people and changing their pads and all of that hard work, which you do as an enrolled nurse, which you do as a registered nurse, depending on where you work. Um, just because you're studying ENs or RNs doesn't mean you won't have to take people to the toilet. Doesn't mean you won't be doing pressure area care and some of the mundane jobs that a lot of people don't want to do. I don't mind doing all of it. Sometimes all of it can be a lot, especially if you've got a heavy acute patient load. So having an AIN to focus on those things is fantastic. But in saying that, it is your responsibility as the enrolled nurse, as the registered nurse, to make sure that those things are done for your patient if you don't have an AIN. You can't expect somebody below you to do that for you. Mm -hmm. And that's about it, guys. So I'll leave it at that. This video is going to be very long. Um, I will film tomorrow after I get my final ANSAT done and let you know how I go. And then that'll be this video done. So thank you so much for watching. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that here if you want to, because I update my life on there, and YouTube is hard, and I don't have a lot of time to do it. You see, instead of, in, in, in doing this YouTube video, I'm not doing my mental health assignment, which is what I should be doing. So yeah, um, I'm not the best student to ask for planning and tips on um, doing things like that. Look at my crazy eyebrow. Alright. Bye.